In an epic game, an all-out war between two Spanish giants, Barcelona has been crowned Spanish Cup champions, leaving Real Madrid in the dust. Barcelona fans swarmed the streets and began the celebration after the victory over their eternal rival. With this loss, the rumors of Santiago Munez leaving Real Madrid on loan are stronger than ever. The interest of various clubs for Santiago is undeniable, leaving the talented striker with a big decision to make. <sighs> it's time to step up. It's time to make decisions that will impact my future. Let's get on the phone. Let's call Glenn. Here goes nothing. You know, I still haven't fully decided. I still haven't fully decided if I want to go out on loan or stay another season in Real Madrid. But the news I received wasn't very good news. The offers we've been getting haven't been great. This is a problem. Here's your ticket. Have a nice trip. So I did leave Real Madrid, but only temporarily because I had to come to Mexico City to get started on the South American Cup, the Copa America, Group C, Uruguay, Peru, Ecuador, and us, Mexico. So here we go. Like I've always said it many, many times, it's always a pleasure, a pleasure to play with, with your national team, to represent your country. Hey, Carlitos Vela, you, you gotta learn from me, son. You got to learn from me, my dude. I don't say no to my national team when they need me. Not now, not ever. Oh, beautiful listening right there. Look at the stadium. It's packed with people, cameras everywhere. The players shaking hands before the whistle. We're about to get started in my first ever Copa America. I don't think I've ever... Maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm not, but I don't think... I don't remember playing a Copa America. I don't think I had ever been called up to play a Copa America. I've already played World Cups and everything. Oh my goodness, eight minutes in. Jonathan Dos Santos, yes. The man who never plays in Barcelona. Actually got a good chance right there. Ten minutes in though. Look at me with this cross. I send it the cross. Come on, Chicharito. Chicharito is an expert with those headers. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get good direction on that shot. 25 minutes in. You know I'm always hustling on defense. Give me your lunch money, son. 26 minutes in. Yeah! <laughs> hey, how many goals have you seen me score like that? How many goals have you seen me score after I pick the defender's pockets? I steal his lunch money and look at that beautiful left-footed missile from outside the box. Nice. That's a beautiful camera angle. Look at the way the keeper flies at that ball, but he's just not able to make contact with it. Nice goal for your boy right here in the 26th minute. 1-0 make up on top and I'm celebrating it with a lot, a, a, a lot of emotion because, hey, man, I, you know, it's so frustrating for footballers when you have to think about transfers when you, when you know that your future is uncertain there's just so much stress with you look at Guli Peña right here in that time that time the keeper is actually able to make contact with the ball nice save for him in the 37th minute for Peru but hey we're not done yet 45 minutes in I see you there Guli Guli Peña Guli Peña Guli Peña oh my goodness come on Peña look at that nice night the keeper actually stepped up after the goal he received Nice, nice saves from the keeper right there. 45 minutes in. That's how we go to halftime with the minimal difference, leading Peru by 1-0. But I'm stressed out, man. And when I'm stressed out, I take it out on everybody. I make people suffer. I mop the floor with them. I embarrass them. 56 minutes in the shot. Oh, my goodness. Horrible, horrible shot. I might have gotten a little bit too cocky right there. But only two minutes later, look at this speed exhibition from your boy Santiago Muñez. Here we go. I cross the ball because I'm not selfish. It gets cleared by the defense. Gulit Peña has another chance. Peña, Peña, the shot. It gets blocked. 
So not much danger there, but not to worry because 74 minutes in, I'm embarrassing more defenders. Get off me. You can't stick with me, ref. Ref, they made contact with my feet. They didn't even touch the ball. I felt I got fouled right there, but the ref didn't care. He didn't call anything. 80, 82 minutes in, I'm asking Chicharito for the ball because I saw this pass, beautiful pass to Peña Gulli, Peña Gol. Oh man, what an assist. Beautiful first touch pass to Gulli Peña and he gets the ball into the back of the net. 82nd minute, the Azteca explodes. Gulli Peña, the captain, which is kind of weird to see him with the captain's band since he's so, so young in present day. <laughs> Gulit Peña gets the goal and that, that, that should seal the deal right there and actually it does seal the deal you hear the ref blow the whistle we pick up a very very important first game victory here versus Peru 2-0 and I'm obviously happy but it doesn't take away the stress that doesn't take away the concern I still have waves of uncertainty to face should I stay or should I go from Real Madrid that is a decision I have to make 9.4 match rating, one goal, one assist, beautiful game for your boy Santiago Munez and hey, we're moving on to game two of the Copa America Mexico once again as the home team and this time it's versus Uruguay and this time Uruguay has Cavani, Uruguay has Luis Suarez, look at us both of us Mexico and Uruguay leading group C with three points so this is a very very important very decisive game unfortunately I messed up while recording this game I messed up, you know, with the capture settings. I didn't notice that I was not recording audio, so I really, really apologize for that. But we're, we're going to have an audio-less uh, gameplay, I guess. You know, there's going to be no audio. You're not going to be able to feel the, the stadium atmosphere, which which is very, very unfortunate. Because I, for FIFA 14, since they decided to not put very good announcers in, not very good commentators in there, I decided to disable the, the commentary. So the only thing I can hear is the, the atmosphere, the stadium sounds. And unfortunately, I didn't record the sounds for this gameplay. But you saw me get pretty close right there in the 32nd minute. Look at me putting the moves on the defender. Here we go, baby. I'm going to pass the ball. I should have passed the ball. Now it's a little bit too late. But Gulit Peña finds me right there 33 minutes in. I find the back of the net and I open up the scoreboard for Mexico 1-0. So there we go, man. Off to a great start in this game. Second game of the Copa America. But hey, man. It's time to talk. It's time to, to take advantage of this silence and, and talk about what I've decided to do with my future. I decided to ask for a loan request. I decided that that was the best thing to do for my career, for my future at the moment. It's only a loan. I'm not getting transferred out of Real Madrid, so I will be back. But Luis Suarez ties, ties things up right here for Uruguay immediately, man. So the joy of scoring the goal of opening the scoreboards didn't last us very long since we couldn't hold on to the result. Look at that. Luis Suarez, nice, nice move. And Ochoa is not able to do anything about that. So since Luis Suarez responded immediately, I said, hey, I got to do it too. So only two minutes later, look at Gulit Peña with a beautiful over-the-top through pass. A shago last. <laughs> Hey man, the stadium wakes up. You can hear the stadium noise in the background. But unfortunately, I had to edit that manually because, yeah, this, this gameplay was soundless, man. Every it was, it was like, it was like I scored a goal and no, no one celebrated. Everyone just stayed quiet, like no one say anything. It, it was very, very strange, my dudes. But hey, there you go, beautiful goal from your boy, two nil. Not two nil. It's two to one, but two goals on my under my name, right? So I'm always happy about that. But yeah, like like you guys heard me say, man, I decided to request, you know, uh, to go out on loan from Real Madrid, and they granted it. So we will be going out on loan, and we'll be looking at what offers we receive. We'll be analyzing these offers along with you guys. And we'll, we're going to decide on which one is the best for my career. We're going to decide which one which one we, we should we should take because these, these things are important, man. I don't want to go out on loan and I want to sit on the bench. What kind of thing is that? I'm trying to I'm going out on loan because I want to grow as a player. I, I want I obviously need some playing time because right now I understand I'm a young player. I, I can't compete with Robert Lewandowski. I can't compete with, with Garrett Bell, with a healthy Garrett Bell. 
I still haven't received, you know, actual news from Real Madrid, it's from the club, that he's back, that he's healthy, that he's ready to play more more games with, with, with Real Madrid. So it's still uncertain if, if Garrett Bell is actually fully returning. But unfortunately, you see us get to sim this match. We get subbed out. So now it's time to face our demons. Time to make decisions. <sighs> Glenn, it's confirmed. He's ready to play. Garrett Bell is healthy. Santiago, you no longer have to worry, mate. While you've been killing it with your national team, I picked up this offer in the Premier League. Newcastle United, my hometown. What do you think? Wow, it's a great offer. The best one we've received. It'd be great to return to the BPL, but still, I need to think about this one. 